Well, welcome to Hangar Alpha, and we're here with uh, Avionics, uh, 360 Avionics. 360. 360 Avionics has got a uh, kind of a new option for builders to put experimental only. Experimental. But having the full touch screen, and I assume that probably a fraction of the price of a Garmin or Avidine or some of the other systems that are out there. But going with small companies, sometimes the fraction of the price equals even more features and benefits. So what, uh, what, what do we have here? All right, I'll just briefly tell you that uh, myself, I started with Vance Aircraft Building, so I built myself Vance RV10. And at some point, I realized that I want to have a modern avionics in my cockpit, but due to the, as you just mentioned, price politics and prices for the avionics, I wasn't able to afford all what I want. So I have a background in this, and uh, it was always my dream, actually, to design and develop avionics. Okay. So I founded a company, and I started to design and develop avionics for my own RV-10 airplane. First, at first, I developed the two budget simple primary or back up flight displays which are capable of many features such as airspeed indication altitude true airspeed all modern backup instruments have i try to put it in as you said rich on features while affordable more affordable on price and of course at all times each pilot is dreaming to have a big screen, something yeah. big with fancy buttons, slides, and everything. So after designing those backup instruments, I moved over to something a little bit bigger, okay. more sophisticated, with the synthetic vision and mapping, as well as the separate engine monitoring system. So I said, well, engine is a very important thing in yeah. an airplane. It's a heart, and you have to check it, be in touch with it, and control it and be sure that you can read all params for it. So I designed the engine monitor, which can take all basic, all important parameters from yeah. the engine. CHT, EGT, oil pressure, temperatures. Absolutely, even more than that. Of course, the fuel flow, fuel yeah. amount in tanks, as well as the voltage information. You can also read the flaps position, trimmers position. You can also read a undercalling temperature, gearbox temperature, and even, you can read a tire pressure. Nice. So you just basically put it on your tire. That just <coughs> goes right on the uh, the That's the a stem. Bluetooth, yeah, exactly. It just goes there. It's a Bluetooth and you can read a tire pressure from your uh, airplane. And well, that's really important, especially for upcoming RV-15. It's a bush plane. Yep. You land off the airport location. You can easily damage your tire. You want to be always in control. Once I was done with my middle class avionics i said well now i'm ready to do something bigger yep. something huge and i came with this guy which is lm 100 uh, 1000 10 inches touch screen display that resembles all parameters pilot may need so it basically has a basic screen on this screen you can easily configure engine information you can add full engine information. You can also add here angle of attack information and even G-meter. So basically, wow. this becomes a control center for a pilot where a pilot can see all information received from all sensors. It's a full touch screen, as I mentioned. You can have a map. It can be either standard VTR charts map or it can be terrain map. It's a touch screen, but it also has a buttons. Okay. Terrain aware, uh, the um, situation awareness screen, separate engine monitoring screen with again, tire pressure, all trimmer parameters, with the charts, with the EGT, CHT, reach of peak, lean of peak, as well as with the graphs for CHT and AGT. I've never seen another engine monitor actually give you the graphs like that. That's that's unique. Well, I like that. But that's cool to have because especially yep. when you diving down, yep. descending, you want to see that you're not going to make damage to your engine by overcooling it. So you just can watch your graphs yep. and see what's happening. That's the standard weight and balance. You may easily put some luggage in the back of your airplane. You can put some some kids, 36 okay. pounds, do calculation and right away see 
if you are in the envelope or outside and you can set it for any airplane any RV airplane you just put initial params empty weight empty center of gravity and you have your weight and balance information we have a checklist again very important I yep. know that some pilots love them on the paper, but I personally prefer them digitally, while I always keep a copy on the paper as well. Yes. You just go through your checklist, you have all information. We support vertical power yes. digital circuit uh, breaker box. Full support for them. Now, which of these items will integrate with uh, vertical power? Because it's not just the big one that no, will integrate. No, the big one and this one, the ALM. Okay. 350 will in, is integrated with vertical power as well as LM1000. Also, we are integrated with the UAV Onyx Tail Beacon X transponder. You can set all your squawk codes from here and set operation mode from here. We also have a home radio support. Any Garmin or other manufacturers like Valcom or Tree Combs are supported through the standard SL40 interface. Perfect. So. Now, there is a little bit more about that. While preparing- but wait, there's more. Yeah, while I was preparing for the Oshka show, I was thinking how I'm gonna demonstrate it all to customer. And I found that moving a hand here in the front of the customer is not really well. So I just took regular automotive controller and I just made a full implementation of controls. So what I can do with this controller in between the seats, yeah. you can basically change your field pressure change maps resolution switch your split screen mode go through all screens you can call main menu change parameters change settings you can also program those buttons four buttons to any mode like for example right now the bottom one is a yaw damper top one activates autopilot this one activates com nav mode and here you can change your frequencies right away so oh, wow and the bottom one will activate the transponder again you can set the squawk code from this one so you're you're going to start selling it with a yeah, control unit like exactly that. and i you know what um i would say about 100 people passing by me said hey we want to have it they want that in turbulence you don't have you don't even need to move your eyes away from the watching the horizon excellent and with your hand you can just control literally like in the vehicle now what autopilots do you integrate with right now first of all we can support any autopilot which has standard nmea bearing input okay true track i would expect mgl autopilot also to expect okay. that and many many others we do also right now getting ready to release our own autopilot Excellent. our own autopilot it's already implemented in the software and okay. i have two airplanes flying test flying it it's, it is based on the similar control box, okay. which gets installed under the panel. We use TrueTrack servos as okay. the servos to interface because TrueTrack was most widely spread yep. uh, autopilot, which was affordable for most uh, enthusiasts who was building the airplanes. And those servos are widely available on the market. So you just need to get two servos, connect to our autopilot box, connect box to our unit and you have full autopilot with altitude hold, heading hold, following navigation as per plan with emergency 180 and develop protection and auto leveling feature. Excellent. That's autopilot is planned to be released before the end of 2024. Wow. So you're you're you're, you're keeping busy doing we a lot of new stuff. We try to keep ourselves busy, right? Because for the next year Oshkosh, we would like to be ready with even more products. So what are some of the, the boxes that go behind the panels like to oh, support this? I will be happy to show you that. So the first important box is the engine monitor, we call it junction box, Okay. where you connect all your engine sensors. It mounted on the firewall and okay. it speaks with the, this unit or this unit through the CAN bus. Okay. Simple, easy, slick, just get installed, wires connected, no extra wires. Okay. That's a this box comes with this unit and with this unit. Okay. We also have so-called VIX voice information system. Uh, excellent. This is this gets connected to any of our offices and it provides pilot with additional audible information. 
in case of if you let's say diving it will tell you pitch up pitch up or pull down or stall all those all the, war warnings, all the warnings. That you can hear including all warnings related to the engine monitor traffic and other possible okay. warnings in flight that's a wix it gets connected to the audio panel and it just supplies the messages directly to audio panel through the audio pass perfect we also have a digital compass okay which gets installed in the tail phone or in the wing tip for example okay. rv10 i found wing tip to be the best okay. i guess rv14 is also the best spot for it when this compass is connected to the AFIS, it will also give you the wind direction and wind speed because okay. now we can distinguish between where we head yep. and what's our track and we Perfect. do it by doing calculation we can see what's happening with yep. the winds also this will be used as a backup gps gives us very precise true track when right. we move fast enough we can easily calculate gps into magnetic by using magnetic declination in certain spot of our earth using okay. gps coordinates this compass gives you wind speed wind direction and also acts as a backup magnetic compass information or primary upon your choice in the menus perfect and where's the uh, Adahars and uh, attitude indicators? Adahars can... are built in each of those units. Okay. It's self-efficient unit with uh, pito and static connections. We also have a backup Adahars system, which can be installed as the additional backup system. One more product which we're now releasing is a smart trim. Okay. That basically to help pilot, to have to help to help builder to have less wires. When okay. I was building my RV. I was need to connect my yo damper, uh, yo trim, aileron trim, and rudder trim wire, and the uh, elevator trim wires all together yep. through the relay box with the buttons. Also, wow, they do a great job here. Yeah, it's like there's an air show going on or something. It is. It is on top of us. Also, I found that in RV14 and in RV10. Those are very fast airplanes. Yep. Well, all, all RVs, to be honest, are very fast. If at high speed you trim airplane, it really goes abrupt, forward or back. So this box not only allows you to connect all your trimmers and flaps, but also allows you to slow down your trim motor at higher speeds, which makes your trimming very soft. Yes. So you don't have the abrupt maneuvers. Plus, your flaps can be programmed for up to four positions where you want them to stop at okay. any certain degree and after that you can just by single click of your switch you can put the flaps in desired position also there is a feature where you push a button and all your trims immediately returns back to the neutral position especially nice. it's important during checklist before yeah. before go checklist finally it has a protection for the runaway trim when let's say you forgot to shut down the right side stick and your passenger during the chop accidentally push your trimmer and accidentally can put you on the ground after two seconds if button is jump trim motor goes off okay you have to release and push again that just saves you from runaway trim runaway trim that's correct so where are you based out of we're based in vancouver canada Excellent. british columbia it's a northwest shore of the um, Pacific Ocean. We have a, there a hangar production facility. Excellent. We do all products in-house in our production facility. We do all flight tests using the Vans RV-10 airplanes. Okay. And uh, well, that's excellent. That's a little bit about our company. Where, where can people go to find more information? We have a website, which is www.360avionics.com. All right. And all information about all our products and all our products are available at our website. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much. Have a great Oshkosh 24, and uh, check this out if uh, you're looking for something maybe a little less expensive than some of the, the name brand options that are out there. Thank you so much for visiting our booth, and thank you so much for the interview. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.